Hi, I'm Lada and I'm a PhD student at the Computational Cognitive Effective Neuroscience Lab at Song Kyung Kwan University. In our recent paper in Nature Neuroscience, we studied the inter-individual variability of brain representations of pain. Pain is a highly individual, multidimensional experience that is processed by brain systems that are distributed across the whole brain. There are brain regions that are consistently reported in pain studies, such as the insula, somatosensory cortex, cingulate cortex, and others. But there are also regions that are less consistently reported in studies, such as the prefrontal cortex or the cerebellum. So viewing any fixed set of regions as the one core pain processing system would be an oversimplification. Moreover, studies have shown that even though there are lesions of regions that are known to be important for pain processing, such as the insula or the anterior cingulate cortex, the ability to perceive pain is often not affected. So it appears that pain in the brain has the feature of degeneracy. That is, that there might be a different combination of brain regions and pathways that give rise to pain experience in each individual. It is critical to understand this individual variation in pain processing for informing and enhancing pain treatment or biomarker development. So in our study, we had two main objectives. First, because most previous studies focus on the group level predictive modeling of pain processing in the brain and which such approaches some important individual specific features can be ignored and lost, here we aim to take a step towards personalized brain mapping of pain. And second, we aim to identify such brain regions that are important for prediction of pain across individuals but that have various levels of inter-individual variability. We first build predictive models on whole brain functional magnetic resonance imaging data from 14 previous thermal pain studies. The total sample size was 528 subjects, out of which 404 subjects data were used as the discovery data set and 124 subjects data as the replication data set. On each subject's data, we built a personalized subvector regression model. We then found important predictive voxels across all models in the discovery dataset, and we parcelated those voxels into our regions of interest. We identified these 21 pain predictive regions. We then analyzed the inter-individual variability. First, we performed the univariate analysis. In this analysis, we studied the variance of voxel weights across the individualized maps. We found that the middle thalamus and ventromedial prefrontal cortex had more variable weights, while the dorsal posterior insula, posterior mid-cingulate cortex, and middle temporal area were more stable. Next, we performed the multivariate analysis or the representational similarity analysis. Here, we compared the predictive patterns of regions between all individualized maps. After controlling for the region size, we found that the ventrolateral prefrontal cortex was the most variable region, while the posterior mid-cingulate cortex was the most stable region. There was also a significant relationship between the region variability and region importance, suggesting that regions that are more important for pain prediction are also more stable across individuals. In sum, this analysis showed that the prefrontal cortex, basal ganglia, and cerebellum had more variable representations across individuals, while the dorsal posterior insula, sensory motor areas, and mid cingulate cortex were more stable. We successfully replicated these findings in an independent dataset that was collected in a single location under a single experimental paradigm with a sample size of 124 subjects. And finally, we identified groups of regions that exhibited similar patterns of inter-individual variability. We clustered the regions based on the similarity between the regional inter-individual variability profiles. We found 10 region clusters. Some regions, for example, the precuneus or ventromedial prefrontal cortex, constituted standalone clusters. In terms of the inter-individual variability, ventromedial and lateral prefrontal cortex clusters were the most variable, 
whilst the sensory motor and mid-cingulate cluster and dorsal posterior insula and S2 cluster were less variable. We also found that the more variable clusters were in the transmodal part of the principal gradient of cortical organization, while the more stable clusters were in the unimodal part. The results presented in our paper shed light on the personalized mechanisms of pain processing in the brain, and they could be potentially used in further classification and biotyping of individuals, creating a path towards personalized pain medicine. So thanks for watching and check out the paper for more details.